Hello, everybody. It's 7 p.m. in Los Angeles, California. Good morning, Vietnam. 9 a.m. in Vietnam. How's everyone doing? My favorite spot. Love that part. Love that part. Ah, if uh, you're watching from the United States, you know what to do. You know what to do. Give me a one. Vietnam gets a two. Cheese. Canada has moved up to three. I love Canada. Or maybe you're from somewhere else. Maybe Australia. Or Japan. Hmm. All right, everybody. Okay, let's let's bring that music down. Bring that music down. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, you know, people say that all the time. I don't know if they really mean it. Everyone hated Mondays. Uh, happy Monday. Happy Friday. People love Friday. Happy weekend. But normally, people don't like Mondays. Uh, but in uh, Vietnam, it is now Tuesday. Okay, on the other side of the world. So hello, beautiful people. Here we go. The lesson tonight, I love it. So I will share with you a little bit about what I've been doing for the past several years. When people hear that I retired, right? What đang lái xe hả? Right? Thầy Robert lái xe lái cho cẩn thận nha. We'll be here. Um, they said, Ủa sao mà trẻ mà, mà retire uổng vậy? Trời ơi, sao mà uổng được? I want to enjoy my life while I still can. Because a lot of people have to work until they're at least 65. So good financial planning is so, so important. Right, I think we can all agree on that. Uh, so, of course, we're also teaching English. So I'll be speaking a lot slower than I normally would. And if you're interested, I will make other videos on investing, you know, financial planning, other stuff about finances. If you're interested, oops. Thì nếu mà quý vị thấy là, oh, that's interesting, I like it. Thì cho Lina biết nha. Rồi Lina sẽ làm video. Uh, có thể bài cái video đó là phải là maybe for more advanced English speakers. Because I get so excited when I talk about finances. I may talk too fast. Nên hôm nay Lina rất là giống như là mình cố gắng để mình slow down một chút để các bạn nghe cho rõ tại vì mình đang học tiếng Anh mà, phải không? Ok, rồi. Ladies and gentlemen, we're learning English and investing at the same time. Investing 101. Investing là đầu tư đó. 101. When you hear anything 101, it means it's going to be basic. It's for the beginner. Yeah? Là nếu mà cái này không phải investing mà cooking 101, then you're going to learn the easy stuff. Hoặc là... Mm, maybe even Spanish 101. Mm, think Spanish 101. Thì mình học mấy cái cái mà nó dễ đó. Like, hola. Là hello đó. Hi. Hola. And gracias. 
for thank you, right? So each time you see anything 101, là nhóm nhiều là cái đó là lấp đầu đó, okay? So that's what that means. What new investors need to know? Well, you may not be new. So some of these basic uh, tips can still be very helpful so that we can remind ourselves. Here is the agenda. Agenda. Agenda là những um, chương trình uh, chương trình nghị sự đó. So this is the plan for tonight's lesson or the agenda for tonight's meeting. Okay? Agenda. First, we're going to talk about the financial expert, Denny Hooten. That's a funny name, and he's a funny guy. <laughs> he's my husband. And then we'll talk some financial tips. Okay. So funny. Whoops. Denny Hooten. Okay, sorry. Roy. This is Denny. You'll see his education. And then under that, his qualifications. Qualifications la la nhung bằng cấp. Okay. So he has a master of business administration with an emphasis in economics from Pepperdine University. Okay. An MBA in economics. La Kintera. Okay. Uh, and also a bachelor's degree in digital media. He's very interesting. That's why I married him. Because some people use like more the one side of their brain. And then sometimes people use more the other side of the brain. Uh, some people are more creative. Maybe they draw or paint or music, very creative. And then some people use the other side where it's information, numbers, logical thinking. Denny is both. He's both. So he has a lot of interests and he học rất là giỏi. Um, he always tells his friends that I'm smarter than him, but I'm not. Shh. Don't tell anyone else that. Uh, but of course he has to be smart because that's what attracts me, right? Okay, enough. Enough about my husband. But those qualifications are his different licenses. I will tell you later why that's important. Basically, there are many people who call themselves financial planners who are not licensed. Okay? So that's important depending on how you're going to invest. Okay. A doctor cares about your health. A financial expert cares about your wealth. Hmm. Okay, so a financial professional is like a doctor for your money. You don't always need them, but you don't always go to the doctor only when you're sick, right? In fact, I just made an appointment for my parents to go get their annual physical checkup. Medea um, what do they call it? The physical tong quad, something like that. Mỗi năm, phải không? They check everything to make sure you're healthy. 
Rồi nếu khi đó họ thấy đường mình hay hơi cao, okay? If your sugar's up, then they tell you what you need to do to bring it down. Okay? So same thing with a financial expert. They can look at your overall financial health. Okay? Is it looking good? Like in the future, is it looking good or do you need to take steps to prevent problems? It's the same thing with health. Now, the reason why I'm comparing it to a doctor is because my husband is in both industries. Okay. He's been in healthcare for, I think, the past two decades. Um, he's been in healthcare. So everything from the medical side of healthcare to the um, like behavioral health. Okay. And he still is. But he's also a financial expert. So he loves both. Okay. He loves both. In fact, Denny is a professor of finance at USC. Um, USC, nếu mà quý vị ở Mỹ, chắc quý vị biết là uh, trường USC rất là nổi tiếng ở Mỹ. Okay, it's a private school. And he teaches finance there, the graduate program. So for um, graduate students, okay, là những người mà đang... Um, um, looking for their master's degree là bằng um, thạc sĩ. I think that's what that's called. So that's what he teaches. So he loves economics and numbers and math. Okay, he's and he's very good at it. Okay. Know the difference. This is so important. Okay. There are many types of financial professionals. Okay. So here are just some of them, just some of them. And I'm going to go through each one, tell you what they do, do you need one, and maybe how much they cost. Attorney. Mm, ủa, luật sư mà sao nói về finance là sao? Mm. You might not think of an attorney as a financial professional, but there are many situations in your financial life where it may be useful to have advice from a lawyer. Okay, you buy or sell a home or any kind of real estate. Maybe you need to set up a new business write or update a will, develop an estate plan to protect your assets after your death. That's very important. Uh, set up a durable uh, uh, power of attorney to give someone else control over your financial or medical decisions. That's important too. You have to do it before you need it. Uh, lawyers can negotiate a divorce settlement, or a prenuptial agreement for a couple who's getting married. Mm. A prenup. Prenup là trước khi lấy nhau mà là có cái contract rồi đó. Uh -huh. um, a lot of times là mấy người mà rất là giàu, họ hay có những cái agreement như vậy. Prenuptial agreement. Là before marriage agreement. And of course, Lawyers can help deal with other legal situations involving finances, like bankruptcy. Ooh, that's an ugly word. Okay. So that's what attorneys can do. Do you need one? Well, some people can do some of this stuff on their own. For instance, like a, a will, perfectly legal to do your own will. Uh, you can also buy kits online 
they can range anywhere from like $10 uh, to a few hundred dollars. Okay. It just depends on how elaborate. Okay. Like, do you have a lot of stuff? Then you will need more. Okay. So these kits can make it easier for you. But you should know that these kits are fairly generic. Okay. Generic. So it may not be able to address the complexities. Mm, complexities. That's a fun word. I'm going to write it down. Complexities. Okay. Complexities. Um, of your situation. Complex. Okay, love. Oh, I don't even know how to say it in Vietnamese. So it's not not difficult. It can be difficult. Nhưng mà nếu mà quý vị có uh, nhà cửa, vị có business hoặc là có uh, more than one house, uh -huh. um, you own your own business, con cái nhiều muốn muốn là you know if you have a lot, then you'll need more. Right? Khó khăn. Mm, okay. Complex is like a lot. Yeah. It can be kakan, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so you should know that if you do it yourself, even if you're buying these forms online, these kits online, you should make sure that they meet the legal requirements of your state. Okay? Because each state can be different. And you want to do it right. You want to do it right. So if you have money, if you have a business, if you think you might need a lawyer, you probably do. You probably do. So before I retired, I hired a lawyer. Now, I know that some people, uh, they want to hire the cheapest person possible. I don't blame you. <clears throat> I don't want to spend more money than I need to, more money than I have to, right? Tiếng Việt mình có là tiền nào của nấy, phải không? And the English is, you get what you pay for. It's not always true, but very often it's true. So I got a lawyer to do my living will, okay, some estate planning. And it was not cheap. Although, I don't know, I'm sure there are people who spend a lot more than me. Okay, so cứ chừng là năm ngàn mấy, mà cách đây là cũng uh, years ago. Gosh, lâu lắm rồi đó, cứ chừng maybe 10 năm. Năm ngàn mấy để họ làm cái giấy tờ cho mình cho đàng hoàng. Right? Yes, cheap is expensive. Cheap can be expensive if they don't do it right. Um, and maybe in other videos, I will talk more about the different things I did for my family. Um, because Lina là khi nào là cũng là tiếng cái đường đường far cái đường far. I'm sorry, I speak Vietlish. Là cái đường xa phải không? Right. Quý vị biết không? I just I share you just one little detail. For my paperwork, là mình lo đến cỡ là nếu mà có chuyện gì thì cái uh, cái tài sản của mình là you know, đứa này với đứa này với bao nhiêu rồi all, all, all that. Nhưng mà nó phải nếu mà nó đang uh, cái tuổi mà đi học á là nó phải đi học. 
Mm-hmm. And they don't get it all at once. Mình có thể là nói là đến tuổi này mới được chừng này. Phải đang đi học. Phải whatever. You can whatever you want. Rồi Lina còn 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 như là lo xa hơn nữa đó. Là if they get my money and they're married, that's fine. If they get divorced, you never want to think about it. I know. Nhưng mà you never know, right? So if if my children later inherit my estate and they get divorced, then their soon-to-be ex-spouse or their ex-spouse cannot touch the money. Okay, so things like that. Hồi trước giờ mình đâu có nghĩ đến cái đó đâu. But it's important. And that's why it cost me a little more money. Nhưng mà I feel good that I have a detailed plan. Okay, rồi. How much do attorneys cost? Well, too much. <laughs> Most lawyers uh, charge by the hour for their services. Okay, it can depend on uh, their location, um, their experience, what kind of law, right? The area of law that they work in, the size of their law firm. Uh, typical rates range from like. 150 to $500 an hour. I've heard of some lawyers. I've met some lawyers who charge more, a lot more. And I also have heard of lawyers who charge a lot less. But that's the range normally that I see. Uh, they can also charge flat fee. Okay, flat fee for certain types of jobs. Um, Like if you know they're going to do your will for you, they're going to do estate planning or a living trust, just like what I you know talked about, or um, a home purchase, and you want them to look over everything. Okay, so they can flat charge flat uh, fee charge you for that too. All right. An accountant is another financial professional. What do they do? Well, you probably use an accountant to fill out your tax forms, you know, your tax returns correctly so you can avoid an audit. Okay. Um, they can find deductions that you, that you might be missing out on. They may remind you, are you using any part of your home for an office? Uh, or child care deductions. They can help you file an extension for your taxes. Or you have a business, maybe uh, they can help you with your, your bookkeeping, keeping track of all your income and expenses, okay? preparing financial statements. Okay, So they can really help you with a lot of those things, especially if you have a business. Do you need one? I know a lot of people who file their own taxes. A lot of people file their own taxes, right? Especially the younger people, if they don't have a lot yet, the easy form, one page, done. Or if you have a little more, you can try some of those online tax softwares. Okay, you spend 100 or 120, whatever it is now. Very good good programs that will help you file correctly. Okay, but there's that word again, complex. If your taxes are more complex, maybe you have multiple income streams. Yeah. Nếu mà quý vị mà chỉ là nhận cái paycheck, cái W2 thôi đó, that's easy. But maybe you work more than one place, maybe you get paid with a 1099, okay, multiple income streams, 
uh, maybe you have foreign investments or lots of deductions, then you probably need an accountant. Uh, small business owners, okay, an accountant is important to help you stay on top of everything. Employee payroll, uh, business deductions, quarterly tax filings, okay? How much do they cost? Well, there are two types of accountants in the United States. You've got your regular public accountants, and then you have certified public accountants, or CPAs. Of course, you're going to pay more, right, for a CPA. Uh, and they can charge per hour or $30 to $100 an hour or a service rate. Like I used to have a CPA who charged me uh, like $400 for a tax return a long, long time ago. So flat fee. You know, maybe they charge someone else the same fee and maybe they did a little more work on one of ours. All right. Insurance agent. Hmm. Insurance agent. Well, just about everyone I know carries some type of insurance, okay? health insurance for medical bills, auto insurance, of course, in case you get into a car accident. You've got homeowners or renters to protect your property, uh, your home. Figuring out how much insurance you need and then which company can offer you the best deal, can take a lot of time. Okay. So and you can look for it online. You can even buy it online. But if you work with an agent, you'll get more personal service. And then there are some uh, other products that are actually very exciting right now used for retirement planning and building wealth. So we're talking investing within certain policies. Not everyone knows about them. Not everyone uh, has access or can offer them. This is a very interesting area right now. I, if you are interested, can do either a video or a, a, a call, a Zoom call or another live stream on the products that I have found and that I take advantage of. And trust me, it sounds too good to be true. Quý vị chắc nghe cái câu đó phải không? If it sounds too good to be true, It probably is. Nhưng mình nghe mà nó, trời sao mà, làm sao mà được như vậy? Probably not true. But this is really, really good. I've researched it. So I've, I'm the kind of person, mình đi ăn thôi, mình cũng là research kỹ lắm. Because I love doing that. Okay. Rồi. Do you need an insurance agent? Well, like I said, you can buy it yourself online. But if you work with an agent, you will have someone to call. You can more personal service should you need help with your policy <clears throat> or if you have a claim. Hmm? And like I said, not all agents are knowledgeable about insurance products that can be used for retirement and investment, <clears throat> okay? And I'll talk a little bit more about this later, but you have to be careful. You have to find someone you trust, okay? Because a lot of people work for commission, which means the more they sell you, the more they make. So you need to work with someone who will take care of you, 
Okay, someone who really wants to help you. Okay, not just someone who wants to make money. Very important. Okay. How much do insurance agents cost? Guess what, you guys? There is good news and there's bad news. The good news is, okay, the upside, it doesn't cost you anything. Mm, why? Because they're paid by the companies they work for. So you don't pay them. Mm, their company pays them. The downside, the bad news is that they work on commission. So the bigger the policy, the more they make. Again, find someone you trust who cares about your personal needs. Do not buy policies that you don't need. Okay? But when you look, when you're dealing with this stuff, someone you know, Huckla, someone um, who a friend or a family refers you to if they're happy, okay? So, so important. Someone asked with flat fee. Flat fee là họ không có charge min từng từng giờ đó. Đây là họ charge từng cái trường hợp. Okay. All right. Okay, you guys. Financial planner. I'm sure you've heard. Has it? Have, have you guys heard of that term before? That phrase. If yes, give me a one. Let me see it. Financial planner. Financial planner. Quý vị nghe chưa? Yes, right? All the time, right? Financial planner is not just one thing. Yes, I see you all with the ones. You all heard of it. They can be brokers. They can be investment uh, advisors. They can be insurance agents and call themselves a financial planner. Um, they could be practicing accountants. Or maybe they have no financial credentials at all. And they still call themselves financial planners. Yep. Uh, some of them will uh, examine your entire financial picture. Okay. They'll help you come up with a detailed plan for achieving your financial goals. Kind of like the doctor, right? Others, however, will only recommend the products they sell. Yep, only recommend the products they sell. Because that's good for them. May not be good for you. May not be good for you. Each time I see someone uh, quảng cáo trên Facebook đó, hoặc là uh, they post a video hoặc a post anything and they call themselves a financial advisor hoặc what and I just mm, I hope people are being careful. Không phải là mình nghe financial planner hoặc là financial advisor là mình nghĩ là cái người đó they know what they're talking about. They may not. Let me give you an example that has nothing to do with money, okay? Nothing to do with finances. If you want to repaint, I want to repaint this room, okay? I, I want to repaint this room and I'm looking for paint. If I go into a store that only sells wallpaper, what are they going to do? They're going to talk me into buying some ugly wallpaper because that's all they sell. So be careful of the person who only sells one thing. They want you to buy it. It may not be the best for you. Cái đó rất là quan trọng quý vị ơi. Nên khi mà quý vị uh, đưa với uh, đầu tư đó, 
find a firm, a company, a person who's able to offer you a lot. More options for you, the better. Okay, more options for you, the better. But if they're only selling annuities, that's what they're going to sell to you. And that might not be the best thing for you. Okay, enjoy. Do you need one? Again, if your situation is simple, and your finances aren't that hard to figure out. But as you make more money, as you get older, looking at retirement, okay, hiring a financial planner can be worth the cost in certain situations. And actually, in, in many situations. Okay. If you're starting a family, so getting married and having kids, okay, those things have a big impact on your finances. When you get married, you have to figure out how to combine your finances, combine your finances, okay? Uh, do you file jointly or separately? Okay, you got to think about these things. Having kids requires you to, like, change your whole life, right? But you need to make adjustments to your budget, okay? You need to start thinking about their college. Yes, while you're changing that diaper, think about their college. Trust me, it'll be here before you know it. Okay, and then both of these events um, should raise questions about like life insurance and estate planning. Okay, like what happens if something happens to you? What happens to your family? Very uh, important things to. To, to think about. And so in these instances, turning the job over to a financial planner not only can save you time, okay, the hassle, it can save you money in the long run. Oh, that's important. Long run. Okay. How much do they cost? Well, well. This, again, because we're talking about such a big umbrella. Oh, wait a second. I think I might have missed. Did I miss? Oh. After family and kids, I, I skipped everything else. Becoming self-employed. Okay, when you work for yourself, okay, you're a freelancer, you own a business. Hey, that's great. I love it. It has a lot of perks, but it sure like turns your whole financial life around. It's very complicated. Okay? Lots of things that you have to pay attention to. Uh, you may have to deal with self-employment. You do have to deal with self-employment tax, um, special tax deductions, uh, quarterly tax filings if you own a business. Uh, you need to think about retirement plans now that you're on your own, okay? The, the employer's not uh, taking care of it for you. Uh, different things you can choose from, like a, a SEP IRA. Um, if you run a business, ooh, you got employee pay and their benefits as well. So a financial planner can help you uh, really like plan for success, run your business more smoothly. Number three, managing wealth. Well, that's a good problem to have. Hmm? The more money you earn, then the more it makes sense to hire a financial planner to help you use that money. And when I say use, I'm talking about using that money to make more money, investing it. Then it pays to hire a professional to help you with it. 
the more money you make. So your money should work for you. That's how the rich get richer. You already knew that. And then lastly, if you are approaching retirement, okay, um, if you're preparing to retire, several things you need to, to know before that actually happens. You've got to figure out like uh, how much money you need after retirement, after you retire, during retirement. Okay. You have to figure out um, how to maximize your social security benefits, how to withdraw money from your retirement accounts to make it last as long as possible. Not as simple as it sounds. People normally don't plan for enough. You have to think about your standard of living right now. And then the cost to keep that up will change in the future. It's going to be more expensive to live the way you're living right now in the future, right? So you got to make sure you have enough money. So those situations it would help you to get a financial planner. How much do they cost? Well, because the term financial planner nowadays is used to like describe a variety uh, of different roles, how much they cost also varies. Okay, so um, like attorneys, Financial uh, planners can charge an hourly rate, an hourly fee that can range from like $150 to $300 an hour, yeah? And just like lawyers, remember, depends on their expertise, their services. What are they doing for you? Uh, they may charge you a flat fee. Yeah, they may charge you a flat fee. For example, if you have an investment portfolio, maybe you did it on your own with one, one of those online uh, brokerage accounts, okay? And you want a professional to look at it for you. Yeah, you, you want them to go in and take a look and see how you're doing and give you some advice. So maybe they'll do it for a flat fee whether it takes them an hour or two hours or four hours, they've already given you the flat fee that it will cost. Um, some people, uh, by the way, the, um, oh, we already talked about the 150 to 300 and the flat fee. Some people hire professionals in the uh, financial industry to work with them on an ongoing basis. Okay, not just one time, an ongoing basis. It's called a retainer. Là mỗi tháng mình trả cho họ chừng nào đó đó. Okay, a retainer. A lot of financial planners um, will charge you initially, like from five hundred to two thousand dollars upfront. Um, they'll set up an initial financial plan for you, and then moving forward. Every month, they get a retainer fee. So maybe it's, you know, from $50 to $300 uh, to keep that plan up to date for you. Now, if you're talking about licensed investment advisors, some are fee only, which means um, their fee is based on maybe a percentage of the amount of assets you know of the client or a percentage of the net worth or the income of the client um and normally it's like you know maybe like 1% 
So if you if you have a portfolio that's worth 250,000 and they make 1%, then you pay them $2,500 for the year to manage it for you. This kind of system gives your advisor an incentive to help you grow your assets as much as possible. Why? Because the more money you have, the more money they'll make. Okay? This is how my husband charges his fees. So he doesn't make money unless you make money. And if you make a lot of money, he'll make more. Not more than you, but he'll make more if he can get your assets to grow. Okay? So that's fee only. Uh, other financial advisors are fee based. And this means that they they make their part of their money from fees and then part of it from commissions. Okay, so like uh, like they'll earn a commission on the sale of the securities. You can pay lower fees with this type of advisor. But just like with uh, maybe an insurance agent, you know, they're going to be making some commission. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Everyone has to make their money somehow, which is why you need to find a person you can trust because you don't want them to sell you something you don't need something that's not good for your situation. Okay? Remember? I want to buy paint, not wallpaper. You does anyone remember wallpaper anymore? I know it's it's very old. Um okay. So we covered the fees for financial planner. I want to talk about the investment advisor. An investment advisor is an individual or company who is paid for providing advice about securities to their clients. <clears throat> Have you ever wondered why sometimes advisors with an O? A lot of people would spell this advisor with an O. Now, I spell it with an E purposefully purposefully. Because when I talk about investment advisors, okay, the laws that govern this type of investment professional, they spell advisor with an E. Okay. So <clears throat> this is actually a legal term that refers to an individual or a company who's registered with either the Securities and Exchange Commission or the uh, state um, securities regulator. Investment advisor. Other common names could be uh, asset managers, investment counselors, investment managers, portfolio managers, and wealth managers. Um, so this, this is what my husband is. So remember earlier when we looked at the qualifications and you saw the different securities licenses, okay, that's, uh, so that's what he is. <clears throat> Whoops. Why is this important? This is important because these are licensed professionals and they're held to a higher standard. Okay, they are educated uh, and, and trained and regulated in how they conduct business. So, for example, someone can call themselves a financial planner. They can call themselves a financial advisor but they may not be trained. 
may not be educated or qualified to give you investment advice. They cannot sell securities. Okay, they cannot sell securities because it's a highly regulated industry. They may be able to sell you things like annuities and just some of them. Okay, you may hear them bad mouthing the stock market. Okay, you, you may hear them saying, ah, it's awful. You shouldn't be in stock. They should, they, you, they may be giving you advice like that. Well, that's because they can't invest in stocks for you. So make sure that you know their qualifications. Okay. In my opinion, you should be seeking financial advice from a company that is more full service. Okay, a company that can provide you with uh, tax strategy. That's important. Okay. So if someone's going to sell you something and you have like no idea tax strategy, that can be painful down the road. Uh, if they can, uh, you'll want a company that can help you with life insurance too, right? So a life insurance, you, you can buy at other places. But let's say they can sell you life insurance, but they can't help you with a diversified portfolio. Diversified portfolio. That's not good either. Think I know all your eggs in a basket. Don't put all your eggs in the same basket. And especially if you've paid any attention to the financial news lately, you know you should never put all your eggs in the same basket, right? Um, okay, so, so just be careful. If someone is like bad-mouthing stocks, it's, it's probably because they can't help you with that, right? Um, so look for something more full surface service. Okay. It needs to work for your life. So it's kind of like a sports team. Um, you need players that are good in all different positions to win. Right? Yes. That's important. You need a comprehensive plan. I'm sorry. You look, I feel like I try to slow it down when I talk too fast. So comprehensive. Comprehensive. Let think think we let thon something. <laughs> you know, like uh, like thon yin, you know, right? So comprehensive plan. That's the best. Many options. That's what you need. You need more options, not less. Right. Okay. Here are some tips for you. Remember the 50-30-20 rule. 50% 50 of the money you earn goes to your needs. 30% goes to your wants. 20% goes to your savings. Needs are what? Needs are things you need. You really need them. Meaning you can't live without them. 50% of the money you make should go to needs like Groceries, financial, housing, you need somewhere to live, right? Utilities, you need the lights on. Health insurance, car payments, those are needs. You have to have them. 30% goes to your wants. Oh, wants. Wants are things you want but don't need, like shopping, like did I need this shirt? Well, no, but I wanted it. Okay. Dining out, like the number one thing a lot of people spend a lot of money on is when they go out to eat. Okay. That's not a need. Okay. Groceries are a need. Dining out is a want. Okay. Vacations, want. And then 20% should go into your savings. 
you should be saving 20% of what you own. So that's a really basic investment rule for your personal finances. 50, 30, 20. Another thing is know your risk profile. Are you conservative, moderate, or an aggressive investor? Okay. Some people are very conservative. Like they, they listen to the news every day. They want to look at their investments every day. And if it goes down, they panic. Tôi ngủ không được luôn. Right? Law, their stomach gets all knotted up. You should probably stay conservative. So don't take too much risk. You need to invest so that you can sleep at night. Maybe you're moderate. So you've been able to save money. So you've got, right, you're good at savings. But you know, maybe you're looking at uh, retirement not too far ahead. So you really you know, need to be careful, but you still want to make money. Yeah, moderate. Maybe you're aggressive. And I know a lot of aggressive investors. You know, a lot of them are either really young or really rich, right? When you're young, you have a lot of time. Time is your number one friend when you're investing. Yeah, time. If you have a lot of time, you can be more aggressive. Tại sao? If you lose some of that money in the market, there's a lot of time to make it back. Okay? So very often you'll find younger people being more aggressive with investing. If you're retiring in two years, not the time to be very aggressive unless you're really rich. Like if, you, if you're going to lose that money and you're okay with it, it's okay. Take the risk because with high risk, okay, could be high returns or it could be big losses. So know what kind of risk profile you are. Keep on investing. Always think long term. Okay, đầu tư là phải đường dài. Chứ nếu mà quý vị, for instance, đi ra mua nhà mua đất, okay, mới mua, hai tháng sau thấy nó xuống rầu. Why? Because it's supposed to be long term. So remember that. Investing regularly pays off in the long term. You need to look at the trajectory. Oh, that's a fun word. Trajectory. Rather than the daily ups and downs. Yeah? The trajectory, nó đang đi đường nào đó. Chứ không có phải là hàng ngày mình thấy nó lên xuống rồi mình rầu. Okay? The trajectory. So maybe it's like this, and then one day it went like this, but then it went up like this. You're still okay. Okay? Okay. If you want help, you can contact me. Uh, there's my website, lenawin.net. Không phải calm nha. lenawin.net. Uh, you can do slash money, but you can also uh, see it on, on the page. So let me share something else with you. In 2020, during the pandemic, do you know what I did? Năm 2020, tự nhiên mình, one, we have a lot of time because we stay home. Two, khi đó là mình bắt đầu là mình suy nghĩ đến, oh, what if something happened to me? Uh, right? Then you think about you know, healthcare and medical bills and are you really prepared? So that happened to a lot of people. So in 2020, I got a lot more serious about learning what I can do with the money I have right now, how to make that make more money. Yeah, hồi trước mình đi làm là khác, mình đi làm họ trả tiền cho mình là khác. Bây giờ mình retire rồi, mình nghỉ rồi. Thì cái số tiền mà mình đang có bây giờ đó, how do I make more money with that? So I looked at that, and I also looked at things like long-term care. Là nếu mà, uh, quý vị mà 
mình có health insurance là khác nhưng mà nếu mà có cái gì xảy ra như là heart attack hoặc bị stroke rồi mình phải nằm ở nhà <cười> right like you can't walk anymore hoặc là you uh, anything can happen mà it doesn't have to be a heart attack or stroke Now, it could be an accident what if you got in a bad accident okay broke your legs or whatever i've i've certain people get into accidents and fall into a coma you never know so in 2020 i had all this time and i wanted to learn more about you know my life life insurance health insurance what to do with investing and because i was reading so much and doing so much research do you know what i did i studied took the test and got licensed by the california department of uh, insurance i learned everything and it was so funny because my husband said oh i i bet i bet you'd pass the test if you took it and i did so i've been licensed i don't i don't use my license um you know i could sell life insurance but i don't but the knowledge that i got and so when i talk to someone now i know what they're talking about and guess what i know things that they don't even know about and they sell life insurance one thing that is new and is so uh really interesting and exciting is something um that's the easiest way i can put it is a bank financed product like you you get financing from your bank to buy a home you get financing the bank to buy a car well how about getting the bank to finance your life insurance policy and you only pay for a short amount of time they pay for a longer amount of time and you you're the bank you're making interest on their money okay you're making interest on the bank's money it sounded too good to be true so i've spent a lot of time looking into it i have actually met the um ceo the chairman and also um the leaders of different insurance companies that are allowing this product okay i've met with bankers for them it's a no brainer and not a lot of people know about it um so it's very interesting and now is actually such a good time for it because everyone is so afraid of what's happening in the economy right now they're afraid of the market okay by the way i don't have to be a licensed professional to know this is not the time to be taking your money out of the market okay nếu mà quý vị mà đang mà chơi stocks mà tự nhiên thấy xuống quấn lên bán hết no because guess what you haven't lost it until you sell it when it's down that is the biggest mistake you can make right now is to panic and pull out because you know why people who are smart with their money know that this is actually an opportunity this is an opportunity to get into the market i know some of you may not like hearing that some of you may not believe that but oh i have so i wonder if i can share this with you crisis creates opportunity if you uh if you knew the different um companies that were created out of crisis I'm going to I'm going to tell you about them because I'm I I can't sh I can't share this right now for you. okay let me let me tell you you're going to be 
Do you know these companies? Okay. These companies were created during times of crisis. Yeah. Facebook and LinkedIn. Facebook and LinkedIn. That was during the dot-com crash. Okay. Um, oh, do you know what United Technology is? It's United Airlines. United Airlines started in 1929 during the Great Depression. General Motors. Of course you know these names. General Motors during the panic of 1907. Okay, these are times of incredible crisis. General Electric. Okay. Kicking off the Long Depression. IBM, again, Long Depression. Procter & Gamble. Microsoft during the embargo recession. Apple. FedEx. FedEx, created during the oil crisis of 1973. There is not one name on there that you don't know. Quý vị thấy không? Facebook, LinkedIn, United Airlines, GM, General Electric, GE, IBM, Procter and Gamble, okay? Microsoft, Apple, and FedEx. You know all of them. All created during times of crisis. Millionaires were made during the um, mortgage meltdown. These are times where if you're smart, you can position yourself to be very successful and rich. So I... I I know that there are a lot of people right now very concerned, okay, very concerned about the economy. You should be. It's bad out there. But do not panic. Do not panic. Do not pull your money out. If you pull your money out, then you've guaranteed yourself the loss, okay? And I'm not, this is not, like, I'm not giving you financial advice with your finances right now. I am just saying that most financial Experts will tell you, it's time to buy. It's not time to sell. Who doesn't know that? Trời nó xuống mà quý vị bán là thôi. Right? So this is a great time of opportunity. And um, I'm sharing with you, I, I kind of did it quietly. Um, because at first it started as a, mình 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 đang như là think tương lai đó mình biết là ok thì mình đang đi làm như vậy nhưng mà I don't want to work forever if you're interested and if you are tell me in comments if you're interested have you guys heard of um, fire re, the the uh, early retirement um, movement It is so interesting to me. And if you are young-ish, okay, if you're young-ish, this is something that, that you can do. I looked into it and it's so interesting to me. So these um, are people who are implementing these plans so that they can retire early. They don't, they don't want to wait until they're 65. Do you want to? Okay. So back to the beginning. Nhưng mà, so I can finish my thought. Sorry. Nhiều lúc mình nói chuyện mình hơi uh, hơi excited. Mình không có nói hết cái câu hết cái lời luôn. And let me one hook. <coughs> First of all, as and I Okay, this will be the last time I tell you. Please find someone you trust. Please find someone you trust. Okay? Find someone you trust. And that doesn't mean là mình thấy họ quảng cáo hoài đó. Mình nghe tên họ, mình biết, mình thấy họ quảng cáo quá trời. That's not what I mean. 
someone you know, someone you tin tưởng, someone là có người khác uh, đã từng làm việc với họ hoặc là someone mà you know là sẽ không có lợi dụng mình đó, không có for their own good. Mình phải tin tưởng họ như vậy. So 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 important. Remember If all they sell is wallpaper, that's all you're going to get. Phải không? Okay? Comprehensive plan. Services that offer you a lot. Um, okay. So if you're interested in some of those videos, let me know. Okay? Uh, Jim, Jim, a friend of uh, mine, retired at 62. In fact, uh, Jim is one of uh, Denny's clients. Jim, you're great. Jim's enjoying life like crazy now. Um, I retired at 49. My dad also retired at 49, actually. And I'm actually busier now. Hmm. I'm busy doing the things that I want to do. I am so excited for the future. And I want you to feel that way. Okay? I want you to feel excited for your future. Take control. Take control. Don't wait. All you need is time and money. Money and time. So if you have more time, That's going to be better for you. I know you're going to you're going to sit here and you're going to okay, I'm going to don't put it off. Okay? Don't put it off. And also all the ladies watching right now, are you interested? I am so surprised how many women do not know anything about finances. Uh the husband takes care of everything. Uh you know, it's Uh, a guy đó là đàn ông lo. No, no, no. If you're a female and you want to learn more, know more, take control of your finances. So if you're interested in something like that, please let me know. Um, I volunteered my time and I worked with someone else who is a financial uh, consultant, actually. And one of the things that we did was we helped talk to women because we we find that women find themselves in a situation that they don't know what to do uh i talked to a few women who jong jeot rồi tự nhiên they don't know anything they don't know how much they have they don't know where their life insurance policies are how much coverage what they need to do they don't know if he invested in stock they don't know anything and I don't want anyone to be in that situation. So, um, okay. Roy, hết giờ rồi. Did you like tonight's lesson? I hope you learned a little bit of English. And then I hope, I hope I inspired you to really look at your financial fitness. And if you need help with anything, find me on my website. And I will introduce you to professionals who are fully licensed. Uh, here's another word. I won't. I won't uh, go through it now. Oh, I hope I spelled it right. Fiduciary. No, I didn't spell it right. Um, this is very important when you're dealing with okay, when you're dealing with money and financial professionals. Okay, right here. This word right here. Whoops. Fiduciary. Here it is. Mm. It, this word. Has anyone seen this word before? Có bây giờ ai thấy chưa? Yeah? When you get into licenses, this word is very important. You will look for, you should look for um, advisors who are trained, licensed, bound by the law to do what's best 
for you to have your interest in mind. Bound by law. Okay? Bound by law. There are many people who will sell you a lot of things. They are licensed in what they're doing, but they are not bound by law to do what's right for you. Why is that important? I don't have to answer that. That's a silly question. Silly question. Okay. Coco, Roy. <clears throat> okay, everybody. 8.15. So 15 minutes over. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson. And get in touch with me on my website if you'd like to learn more. Um, I have a lot of exciting things I want to share. Remember, I have taken the last probably at least five years, five years, talking to people, interviewing people, like studying. I was doing it so much, my husband said to me, honey, I bet you could, I bet you could pass the test if you took it. And I did. Um, so, okay, let's, let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Let's, let's take control, man. Let's take control of our money. Not only that, let's make more money. Who wants to make more money? Hello, I do. I want to make more money. That's how the rich do it. it. Takes money to make money. I love you guys. And I I mean that. I mean that. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm so glad. Could you be an advisor for clients in VA? Uh, my husband is one of those licensed with the SEC, the securities thing. <laughs> and yes, license must be licensed in your state to help you. We can help. Okay. Mwah! I love you guys. Ah, bây giờ mà có ly trà ăn thấy sướng. Không có. Sometimes money can't buy happiness. Money can't have no. Thấy không? Có tiền mà bây giờ không có trà thấy khổ không? Okay. See you next time, everyone. Good night. Bye.